and it bit. And I'm like, and then I just burst into tears. Oh. Hey there, plus size nerds. Today I am talking with Kim Henderson McAndrew, the author of In Plain Sight Style, the book you need about everyday cosplay. It's wonderful. It's got checklists. It breaks it all down. So if you ever have been nervous about it, she is the expert to talk to. We're going to ask her lots of questions about her book today, and we're also going to find out more about how she got started on her journey. Kim, welcome. Hello. It's good to be here. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, okay, so tell me a little bit of background how you got into cosplay, what drew you into that world? Um, my son drew me into the world, honestly. Ooh. I was, you know, I was going to Comic-Con and I would just, you know, I'd wear like a nerdy t-shirt, whatever. And he was really, you know, he was small. So he was like, okay, so I want to dress up. And I'm like, okay, great. And so I would just get kind of a coordinating t-shirt to go with whatever he was wearing i don't look like a superhero so maybe i shouldn't do that and then i just started looking around and noticing that in the cosplay community in in the nerd community in general it doesn't matter it does not matter that you don't look like scarlett johansson you do <laughs> okay it's totally fine that mm -hmm. you have muscles and you don't yeah it's it's okay mm -hmm. and there's a lot of plus size women that cosplay and nobody bats an eye at it it's yeah there's no side eye no nothing so right at the same time a friend of mine said you know we're doing some poodle skirt avengers do you want in and i'm like that i can totally do I'm like, that's a good way to just kind of ease into it. And so I said, can, can I be cap? And they were like, yeah, and I was like, great. And just came up with ideas from there. And after that, it was just, it's, it, it's kind of like getting a tattoo. Once you get one, you start thinking about the next one and cosplay is the same thing you're just like okay this one's great and i had fun building it and i wore it and cool whatever now what do i want to do next and mm -hmm. it just snowballs from there and then when you have a little kid of course they're just like every five minutes they're on to the next we should do this we should do this yes yeah. now when when did you start cosplaying what year about Oh gosh, it would have been 2014. Mm -hmm. So not, not a long time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was it, trying to picture because before 2008, before the first Iron Man came out, it was still kind of difficult to find a lot of oh, yeah. nerdy kind of pieces and stuff. But it sounds like you started kind of as the wave was starting. Oh, I, yeah, I was so lucky because it just couldn't have been easier to, to do this. And it was right after, you know, her universe started, they mm -hmm. opened their doors and um, their virtual doors. And I, you know, I distinctly remember just they, you know, cosplay is fun and all, but it's like, Every day, I just, I get tired of the boxy t-shirts. I don't, you know, I like, you know, I can cut the neck out of a t-shirt and make it look cute, but, you know, I just, mm -hmm. I don't do that every time. Mm -hmm. And I remember, oh gosh, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was, I was walking around um, Kamikaze, which is now LA Comic Con. It takes place usually around Halloween and there was this little table set up and it said her universe and it had like a Boba Fett dress and a Darth Vader dress and I was like oh God. I'm like you know they're so cute and I would love that so much but they're not <laughs> my size they're not my size and so I walked up to him and I just said 
<sighs> what size do you go up to? Expected to hear. We go all the way up to extra large, you know. Right, right. Well, yeah, thanks. And then leave. And they said, oh, um, we go to 3XL. And I was like, mm, what is it? Are they true 3XLs or are they made in China 3XLs? Because there's a difference. And she was like, oh, no, they're true to size. And this girl was, you know, thin and cute and just, and I was just like, oh, she's so cute and adorable. She really thinks this is going to fit me. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I said, okay. I said, here's the thing. I said, if I buy this dress and I go to the bathroom, which is in sight line from your booth and I try it on and it doesn't fit because it's not going to. I said, can I bring it back? And she was like, she goes, you know what? She goes, it's going to fit. And normally I would say no, but I'm going to tell you yes, because you're not going to bring it back. And I said, hmm, okay. So I get the Darth Vader dress. I go into the bathroom. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, I throw it over my head and it fit. And I'm like, and then I just burst into tears. Oh, and I'm like, outside. Oh my God. She was like, are you okay in there? <laughs> I was like, yeah, oh my, the dress fits, nothing ever fits, oh my god, you know, I just completely had a cow, and so I go back to the booth, and she's got her arms folded and everything, she's like, mm-hmm, and I said, fine, give me the R2-D2 one, too, <laughs> slap my money on the table, yeah, and it was just, it, I'm it, it, right it, there with that, you, because that wave just started, because Thank God she made it size inclusive from the get-go. Yes. There is such an incredible feeling, exactly like you describe. Yeah. When someone finally sees you and includes you. Yes. Right? Yes. We've, we, you know, when I'm, I did get to meet Ashley at a, a convention once and uh, I just, I happened to be at the Her Universe booth when she showed up to just say hi. Oh. This was days, and and I just and she said, oh, she goes, I have you on my screensaver, and I was like, you do? And she was like, yeah, the the picture you posted with the Star Wars sheets that I turned into a dress. She goes, oh yeah. She goes, I have you know, different Instagram posts where I get tagged and I have them on my wallpaper. She goes, it's oh. to remind me, you know, who I'm, who I'm doing this for. And I said, oh my God, you know, and I said, I just wanted to just tell you, thank you for inviting me to the party too. Yeah. I said, you don't have to, because she's tiny. And I said, oh, oh no. Teeny, I said, tiny. You have to invite me to the party but you did and she's like yeah she's like your money spins the same way as everybody else's and i said that's what i've been saying you know in a so, lot of cases probably more because we're so excited to find geeky clothes that actually fit <laughs> yes i know i'm just like yeah just like take you know take all my money here here you know just pile well, it all in <laughs> the first time you cosplayed, though, like you felt great buying these clothes because they finally fit. But the first time you truly wore a cosplay, describe that experience. Like, were you nervous? Were you excited? And then how did it transform? Um, because I eased into the poodle skirt thing first and it was very well received. I mean, we were. Um, it was I, adorable. I, it was so much fun to wear. It was comfortable. It was, you know, it was great. And we, you know, and I got stopped so many times just, you know, oh my God, I have to take a picture of that. That is so cute and clever. And I was like, wow, okay. And my first but screen accurate cosplay was um, Star Lord because I just, I love Guardians of the Galaxy so much. <laughs> oh my god and i was sitting in the theater this is just terrible because i sit in the theater and i'm like i could put that together i could <laughs> yeah i could find that oh yeah and uh, what color is that belt 
Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm like taking mental notes. Mm -hmm. My son and I just like elbow each other during movies. When somebody comes on that we want to cosplay, it's just like the elbows start. And I'm like, yeah, oh, I, I, I got you. I got you. We're, we're going on Amazon as soon as we get in the parking lot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and so um, it, the experience was great because I put it together. I was really proud. I was, you know, nervous. But at the same time, I had just been around so many people in so many different conventions and had seen, you know, enough plus size women running around in cosplay and feeling confident. And I would just look at their pictures and go, Oh my God, they, they do look really, really good. And yes, they do have a stomach and yes, they do have, you know, a big butt, but they look great. You yeah. know, and so I really took them as an inspiration to just walk into the, to the joint, like, you know, I owned it. And, and the yeah. Star Lord gear kind of gives you that swagger anyway. Mm -hmm. It kind of gives you the swag. And it yeah, it was very well received. People were like, oh my God, that looks really good. You did great. And, mm -hmm. and it just encourages you to do more and more and more. When you talk about putting together your cosplay, um, do you have difficulty finding pieces? Some things are going to be easy to find or replicate, but then there are going to be like props or belts or accessories or something. Um, so how do you go about tracking all that down? If it's something that I really, really need and it's screen accurate, um, I, and I just, I have to make the decision to spend the money on it. Mm -hmm. like, this is going to be costy. I'm going to do it anyway. And the great thing about most of these cosplay companies, cosplay sky, um, white sheep leather and SIM cosplay, they do custom suits. So, I just got, yeah, I just got my Captain America stealth suit. I am very <laughs> excited to wear it. Um, it fits, they take 20 measurements from you. Wow. I mean, they measure your neck, they measure your, your head, your like, like three or four measurements on your eye. I mean, it's ridiculous what they measure on you. And so when you get that suit, it it's made for you. Yeah. And it costs like twenty dollars more to get it custom, and I'm like, wait, hold up, hold up. I'm picturing. I know it's like we're the 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 Are you kidding? Yeah, and they, yeah, it's like oh, custom. It's like add nineteen ninety nine. I'm like, e yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm already spending four hundred dollars on a suit. Uh, yeah, twenty more bucks. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. That's and. Great. So, yeah, so when I do, you know, think, oh, I'm going to have trouble finding something, you know, because I can't just go on Amazon and order the Ruby's costume stealth suit. It won't it won't look good on me. It's made for a man, for one. And then <laughs> for two, it's just, you know, even if I get the, you know, the 3X men's, it's just going to be the shoulders are going to be ginormous and there's just, yeah, it's just, long. the pants are going to be ridiculously, the arms are going to be flopping around on the, you know, and it's just silly. Which one um, is the stealth suit? Is it the winter soldier? Winter soldier suit. Yeah. yeah. That's the, okay. Marion's and, and everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Wow. Yeah. Now, how did you how did you track them down though to know that they would be able to make this custom suit for you? I did, you know, internet searches, but also the cosplay community. If you're, you know, on Facebook, I just find people on Facebook, and when they have a really good looking suit, I just say, "Okay, where'd you get that suit?" And um, mm -hmm. and now I know just just from experience that white sheep leather, if you want a cap suit, that's where you go. Mm. Uh, duly noted, duly noted. 
Right. They are the experts in the Captain. They they do the best Captain America suits. Nice. All of the really good cosplayers you see in a cap suit, that's where they got their suit. Oh. That's where they got their suit. Yeah. You mentioned the cosplay community. And one of the things that I find fascinating is that I've had a couple people say to me who are outside kind of the nerd world, like, mm -hmm. wouldn't they be in competition with each other? Why would they share information? Why would they share tips and advice? What has your experience been with the cosplay community? There are a couple of people that you run into and you're just like, hey, we're, you know, I was looking for duplicate necklaces for this cosplay. Where'd you get those? And they're very, well, a friend made them for me. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're just like, oh, okay, you're one of those. Okay, bye bye, next. Um, but, 99.9% .9 of them, when you're, you know, just goofing around on Facebook, you'll get in your feed. It's like, oh, look, so-and-so, their new cosplay is like, oh, I don't know them. It's like, huh. I'm like, well, they liked cat cosplay cap. I'm like, friend requests it. And it's like, friend request accepted. And if you just send out the thing, say, I'm working on this they everybody's so helpful mm -hmm. um i i think the best example is uh scarlet witch cosplayers we have our there's like an own we have our own page and they'll say you know hey witches i found this today <laughs> online and right now it's just it's trying to find all the different looks for wandavision mm -hmm. and I found this dress on Amazon. You guys, it comes up to a four X. It looks like her fifties dress in the trailer. Go get it. And, and, or, you know, I found this great wig and it doesn't cost very much. Here's a link. And it's, we're very, you know, supportive. And when we, you know, do a cosplay, like the other day, I just took some quick shots of my stealth suit after I got it because I just couldn't wait. I had to throw that sucker on and got some photos. And people were like, oh, that's nice. And I was like, thank you. It's because it's not, it's, you know, unless you enter a cosplay competition, you're not in competition with other cosplayers. Right. That's what I have found too, that everyone is incredibly welcoming. Uh, very warm and very generous. Yeah. Let's yeah. talk then about In Plain Sight, the Yay! book. <laughs> what prompted you to write the book? I just blogging over the years. I've just been like, okay, I really, yeah, that's, I, that's my Star Wars. <laughs> I love that cosplay so much. <laughs> I can't wait for, you know, I want a new movie or something. Just <laughs> an excuse to wear it again. Um, <laughs> uh, but I've been kicking around an idea, you know, an idea for a workbook for a really, really long time. And um, there's there's an old, um, I think it's still in print. It's, um, it's called Basic Face by Cindy Crawford. And mm -hmm. She just, it, it's, it's just a workbook of makeup, how to. It was just a real game changer. And I wanted to do something like that with cosplay. That's really what my, you know, blog is for, but I wanted to put it in one place so people can take the book shopping with them and, have it by their side when they're building something and right. then got the workbook part of it in here for people yes and, and i just really wanted to because you know nerds are very like they like to do things right we like to you know we like to get a good grade and one of the ways that we do things you know quote right is you know, you just don't want to leave anything out. You want to really put together good looks. So I, you know, came up with the team build checklist. So while you're building your cosplay, you know that you haven't left anything out. And 
that you're, you know, quote unquote, doing it right. So yeah. people can feel confident if they haven't, you know, done this before. You know, I feel confident throwing on, you know, an outfit and going, okay, I'm going to do this bound today. But not everybody feels like that. They're not surrounded by nerds all the time. And yeah. so they're just like, eh, I don't know if this is going to be okay to wear to work. And, and so I just really wanted to put in there, yes, you can wear this to work. You just have to, you know, make some adjustments. Don't obviously don't take your, your big giant cap shield with you to work. It's kind of weird, but not with you still have the flavor of it, the style of it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You still have that, have that Captain America flavor without, you know, going, um, okay. Yeah. She showed up in a Captain America suit today. Um, I don't know what's going on with her. Maybe she's having yeah. trouble at home. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of great tips in here for not just cosplay, but like you said, a stylized cosplay or styling yeah. an outfit. What's one thing that, that people can use like to kind of bring it together or or to inspire them like is there a piece that you look at and then you go oh okay i can work around that or is there you know do they look at pictures of the character what what do you work off of i work off of pictures of the character and go from there and it's just um one really good easy tip if you're you know just getting started is a you know a color story you know what care what colors does your character wear, uh, you know, the, you know, the, you know, bell, bell wears yellow, you know, to be really, you know, easy, you know, and, you know, in the different Harry Potter houses, your colors are chosen for you. Your, your house colors are your house colors and, yeah. and just kind of build off of that, you know, Harry Potter bounding is just so easy to do because, you start with a color story and then you add the pieces from there. And then once you decide, you know, if you're going to do, you know, 50 style, are you going to do rockabilly? Or are you going to do twenties, you know, and just kind of take it. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so that kind of dress works for twenties, but it doesn't really work for rockabilly. So let me keep looking and mm -hmm. just kind of take it from there. That's great. Your yeah. tagline here, using everyday cosplay to express your inner superhero. Uh, talk a little bit about why you think cosplay is a way to express that or to build confidence. It absolutely builds confidence. You feel, you just, if you, you know, if you look good, you feel better. You just do if, you know, you, you know, you buy a new outfit that you know looks really good on you. It's you feel 10 times more confident when you walk out the door because you're like, I know this looks good on me. I've worn this before. And then, you know, the compliments roll in and that makes you feel even better. And <laughs> cosplay just rubs a little bit more magic on top of that because you have, you know, it's like you have a, you're wearing a Captain America dress and you know, it looks good on you and you get compliments for it, but you also just, you know, just kind of have that, just that kind of energy, that Captain America energy. And it just makes you feel, you know, a little more powerful. You're representing that character. Mm. So you really want to yeah. just, kinda, you know, do better and just kind of, be better <laughs> like, yeah especially. yeah and yeah I, I you know one of the funniest things that my kid does when he cosplays rocket i mean he will he he will actually he'll growl at people when he's dressed in the cosplay you just kind of get into that character i don't know it's it's interesting how the clothes affect you because yeah mm. when i am star lord i just i just have a little bit more swagger and just like yeah, yeah well, you know tony stark i'm more sarcastic for sure <laughs> you mentioned at the beginning that 
initially, one of the reasons you were reticent to cosplay was because characters in movies, TV shows don't necessarily look like you. Right. Um, now your attitude has changed. So what would you say to someone who's like, oh, I would love to cosplay rogue but you know she wears a skin type bodysuit and she's thin and she's whatever and i'm not like what would your advice to be advice be to help somebody get over that hurdle i would say find you know just ease yourself into it and do a stylized look do a bound start with a bound and then go from there and you know it's easy enough for me to tell you, oh yeah, when you go to the, go to the convention, people are just gonna go, oh, Rogue, I love Rogue, oh my God. They're not gonna go, oh, you, you're, you're too fat to be Rogue, I'm sorry, you need to go home now and change. Mm -hmm. Nobody is gonna say that to you. They really aren't. Mm -hmm. um, instead, it's gonna be like, good cosplay, like that cosplay and, um, I know me, when I see cosplayers at cons or shows or whatever, it's like seeing Santa. It's like you're a little kid and you see Santa. You get so excited. Like, I know who you are. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yay. I know him. <laughs> exactly. I know him. Yeah. Have you had some really good experiences then with fans at cons or with little kids or, or do you get asked? Yeah. Oh, pictures? my gosh. Yeah. The... the <laughs> my my son loves um to dress up as spidey and mm. the it's so interesting even if he doesn't have the the mask on um he'll walk in because we're we're so we're in so deep that we cosplay <laughs> to the movies i mean opening well, you know fun. in game yeah i i we showed up the opening night of in game and he was in Spidey suit. I was in Star Lord. I even I carried my helmet with me that night. I was like, I was not even playing around. And <laughs> but the Spider Man cosplay, it's so fun because little kids just they just their jaws just drop. <laughs> and it doesn't matter that you know Benji doesn't look like tom holland because he's, he's he's a lot younger than he is for one but it's just like they just they don't they don't care that's yeah. spider that's spider-man spider-man's here yeah and, and you'll see you know they're just kind of nudging their their moms and pointing and 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 i'll just walk over to them and just say would you like a picture with spider-man and they're like and they just kind of shake their heads like, yeah. And I'm like, come on over here. Let's get a picture. And I'm like, I'm like, let's get. And so he'll, you know, crouch down and do the poses and everything and then high five them. And they just, they just love it so much. I mean, it just really is such a good experience when you're when you're going out with just you know the the non-nerds and you're you do stick out like a sore thumb but nobody they love it they love it nobody gives me a hard time about it it's, people like it and, yeah. and you know and at the and at comic book conventions it's um if you have something you know different like we did it we did a new wave avengers that <laughs> We did, we walked by JC Penny and there were some ugly bright blazers on sale and they needed to be on sale because they were unfortunate and um and Benji was like he was like we should you know we could do like a like an 80s version of of the Avengers and I was like oh, oh my god I'm like the 80s is my decade let's do this and we just got, and people were like, oh my God, you guys are like Miami Vice Avengers. Oh, oh my. And, and, they, they, <laughs> and you just, you know, get into it. So the person that wants to cosplay Rogue, start with a, with a dress and, or start with, you know, 
a shirt and you know if you don't want to wear a dress I'm I'm always like just start with a dress that's the easiest thing for me because you throw it over your head and you're done and you just add stuff to it and it's easy but if you don't want to do that then you know maybe find some leggings with a tunic and yes the leggings are tight but if you have a tunic on over you you've got balance mm -hmm. you don't have to feel self-conscious you really just kind of ease yourself into it. You don't have to go full bodysuit. I, yeah. I, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. It's been, it's tempting because they're a lot cheaper than the full suits and they're a lot more comfortable, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm not ready for that. yeah. Oh, that's great advice. Just to start with what you're comfortable with. Yeah. Well, can you tell everybody where they can find your wonderful book? Oh, I, oh gosh, I would love for everybody to check it out. It's um, the easiest way to do it is to go to inplainsight.style. Oh, okay. Just all, no spaces, all one word. And um, the very top menu, it says buy the book. You click and it'll take you straight to the site and you buy the book. Excellent. The other way you could do it, if you want a signed copy, um, you can email me um, in plain sight dot style at Gmail and just say, hey, I'd, I really want your book, but I want a signed copy. Then I'll just I'll email you back and we'll figure out what the postage will be. And yeah, I'll, yeah that way I can send you like a box of you know, a, a rubber ducky and some stickers and some other goodies. I got it. some goodies and they were pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Kim, for joining me today and talking about your new book and yes, the message of confident cosplay with everyone. Yes. I, love it. I, I want this to be for everybody. It's not just for a select few of us. It's, you know, when whenever I see somebody, they're like, oh, I wish I could do that. I'm like, you can. You, you can do that right now. If you really can. Just go for it.